So, we're in a field or in a footpath between several fields. Welcome to the battle field of Pinky Cluch. 9th and 10th of September 1567. Um, this area would have been an absolute slaughterhouse um, come the afternoon of the 10th. The battle on the 9th was fought up on that slope there, far side Bray, by the English and Scottish cavalry. And the Scottish cavalry got by far the worst of it and uh, played no part in the the battle fought here the following day. So what happened? Well, let's go to Inverness Kirk. So, there we go. The Scots come up from the village to try and surprise the, the English forces coming from over that direction. Actually, they were probably camped overnight at what is now Preston Grange, um, which is kind of beyond Walford there. The English warships, moored just off those houses there. Um, Leaving Hall Links would have been there at the time. That was constructed from waste ash from the Kirkenzie Power Station in the beginning of the 60s by Scottish Power. Um, so, the Scots Army come up here in three big formations called battles. Unfortunately, they were a medieval army facing a Renaissance army and uh, a multidisciplinary army which has cannons on ships and cavalry and infantry as well didn't really stand much of a chance. Uh, in three main formations it's very um, big targets for even the most inaccurate of uh, round stone shot fired from cannons and the mayhem must have been horror horrific. Um, but by moving on to this field here, they caught the English a little bit by surprise and their cavalry hadn't got their armor on. So the cavalry had to make a fairly desperate charge in to stop the Scots uh, at great risk to themselves, obviously, because they had no armor on. Um, but a combination of that, the uh, English pikemen and the massed cannon fire stopped the Scots and then there was a rout and they were absolute absolutely slaughtered here. 